This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. that has greeted my eyes as I have uh, approached the scene of my civil disobedience today. Mayor gets his own reserve parking spot out on the street. No one's going to believe me when I say this, but I just ended up here kind of by accident right behind his parking spot. I don't know if that's even his car, but uh, I guess if he comes out here into his car and sees me videotaping, he'll crap a pyramid. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Recording? All right, yeah. Sweet. So, stop trashing this. No, were, were you just walking by? Yeah. Awesome. And you stopped and joined our protest. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. It's awesome. What made you want to join? Um, well, police harass me all the time, and they break the Constitution because they, they don't respect my rights, and because I don't have a lot of money and I don't have a good attorney, they sit there and and they push you around, throw me up against the wall, they'll search me. I'm sitting on the corner outside a, a, a convenience store, they threw me up against the wall because I, I refused to give them my ID, and and they searched me, and they completely violated my constitutional rights, and I completely 100% agree with you guys. So. My camera's still listening. It's still listening. Oh! Still listening to you, even though it's aiming in a different direction. Uh, it's all good. good. But yeah, it's I really appreciate good. you stopping and hanging with us. Yeah, it's cool. That's yeah, awesome. Cool. Love, I love the shirtless. That yeah, gets a little attention. The government's uh, really screwed up. What are you guys up. doing? Is this like on TV or something? Anyway, so this is what I've always thought was the the mayor's spot, you know, right in front of City Hall. But there's another one behind City Hall that says it's reserved for the mayor. So that's that's the real problem. Is if there's two spots for the mayor. But I I don't know if that's still used for the mayor. You, you just heard about it? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I uh, some of your videos online. And, uh... I'm standing here with Andrew, uh, and you just you said that you you just happened to be watching YouTube and saw one of the videos and decided to drop by. Yeah, I just figured I'd come by and uh, be on the periphery. Just to... that's where I live on the periphery. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, just, I'm not the uh, most assertive person in the world, so I just want to make sure I don't know things are. Okay. And appreciate your work. Well, thank you. I appreciate I see that. A few other things, so. I appreciate you being here. Wouldn't be possible to do the work without the viewers. Yeah, true. And you said something interesting happened with that semi-infamous security guy who was trying yeah. to keep me from filming. You said you saw him here. What happened? Uh, well, I was just over talking on my cell phone, just kind of look, you know, looking like I wasn't certainly part of the group. And about uh, maybe ten or twenty feet from me, he. He uh, kind of came on out the door from actually right over there. That door over there. That door over there. Yeah. And kind of poked his head out and then crunched, like, scratched back down and ran back inside. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was, it was a very, like, quick thing. Um, but yeah. it was just, it, I don't know, I guess made me laugh. He doesn't like being on camera, I guess. Yeah. Which but, you know, again, is understandable. yeah, I mean, I, but it's, he's on my dime, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm, oh, right. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's yeah. Very, very important. I wouldn't want to do that to him at his house. No, no, certainly not. No. Not even at a not Walmart, a, but a yeah, here he's on the clock. So, yeah. Yeah. exactly. All right, and it's Andrew, right? It's Andrew. Thanks yeah, so I much live yeah, in for, for coming out. It's mm -hmm. much appreciated. Nice to meet you. Me too. All right, so I'm going on in, and most people are going to stay out here. I'm oh, sorry. We are live streaming from this distance. And this is where they first approached me. This is where it all started. The city hall security guy came up to me and told me, do you have permission? <laughs> so a lot of folks are coming in. Some are bringing cameras. I don't know which ones are recording and which ones aren't. And we have someone in a somewhat more cautious position, more likely to escape with tape than me. <laughs> then we have a, a, a more cautious position still in this camera chain. And then maybe there, there may be people further away that are recording that I can't see. Uh, so if this, if this camera were taken, then uh, there would at least be video of it getting taken by him. And if he gets taken out, <laughs> then they have to come for him, or if they want all the video. And again, this is not just this is not just paranoid because if you think about it, they 
they did take almost everybody's camera on June 4th, 2011, at, outside uh, the police department, so. I found out why that was, by the way. Did you, did you notice that cop across the street filming us? No, I didn't. I got, Garrett and I got some shots, and Pete Ayer went up and talked to him. Uh -huh. He's definitely playing clothes with a, uh, an earpiece in, and he was talking on the radio and filming us. <laughs> did he have a little bit of a beard? Yeah. Who was that? Oh, Who was that? Okay. Do you know him? That's probably one of ours. <laughs> like a Manchester boy? Or? That's probably, I think he's one oh, okay. of ours, as in ours. Uh, okay, Liberty, I was like, Liberty you, person. But yeah, good, good okay. spot. Well, I guess if you spot it, then the police are going to spot it. But yeah, the further you are away, the less likely it is that someone's going to bother you. So. I could, but I'm not actually, I'm going to stay here close to the. Uh, yeah, that makes any sense. It's going on really relaxed yeah. streaming right now. Awesome. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't going to be hard to get people to come in here with me. Yeah, nothing's happened yet, and maybe nothing will. That's Ridley O. sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd. Keen Invention Yard Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.